Hello everyone and welcome to part number two of the Perfect Genetics Challenge. Now, thank you so much for all your positivity on the last part and um, I've taken a day or so off camera so that I could get Miss Emma, Miss Emma Grayson um, to meet some men because we all know how the meeting the men part goes, you know, we know the interactions and it only gets entertaining at the juicy bits so <laughs> I thought I would skip that now we've got a few possibilities and I'm going to get Emma to come pay the bills because they've just been delivered look at those bills for this small house 773 simoleons ridiculous ridiculous it's not even filled with expensive goodies so I have no idea why it costs that much no idea so we're going to be left with hardly anything so we're going to have to sell the car that we got in the last part and see whether that makes a difference to our our total for our possessions yes it does oh no okay so if we sell anything that we steal we don't get the fifty thousand. we need to keep it that sucks so what we'll probably do is get her to keep some stuff and then um, do some other things. I'm just going to quickly get her to eat something really, really quickly. Now, while she's doing that, I'll explain the men's. The men's. Now, we have Steve Texas, who was at the Quaker Steak and Lube, which, thank you to a lot of you have told me that it's not a dirty place, <laughs> but that it actually is a proper restaurant. So, that was a bit embarrassing. Okay, so she has a hot tub, so that may be putting the price up on this place a bit. So she likes him, but she also met Chad Luck whenever she was at a nightclub last night and they hit it off really, really well. I hadn't intended to make them friends, but they became friends really, really quickly. So it was kind of like, okay, because I wanted acquaintances and then to make the friends with you guys watching her, obviously. But uh, they got on like a freaking house on fire. So maybe that's him phoning, I don't know, but we're going to go and spend some time with Chad so you can see what he is like. Can you answer? Answer your phone, woman. It might be a man. You need the mans. Is it a man? Oh, we're all in suspense here. Oh, well, whoever it is, obviously it's a sales call. <laughs> is it a sales call? Were they offering you double glazing? What were they offering you? Right, so it is two in the afternoon, so I think it's time that we went out. So why don't we... Where is he? Now, he does work in the... He does work in the hospital, so I don't know if he'll be exactly... Let's invite him out. Because I want to go out somewhere. Some of you wanted me to go to Taco Bell. <laughs> so I'll definitely take you to Taco Bell today. Why ever not? Right, okay. Taco Bell, where are you? Where is Taco Bell? I think it's here. Yeah, it's here. Let's go to Taco Bell. What a what an awesome first date. <laughs> Taco Bell. We don't have Taco Bells in this country, so I don't know if this is a good representation. Okay, try calling back in one hour. Okay, well that's not too bad. That isn't too bad at all. One hour and then he is ready to party. Maybe we can invite him over and go in the hot tub. That could be possible. Or we could just go to Taco Bell ourselves and meet him there. That's also a possibility. Yeah, let's do that. Just let's go and let's go and visit Taco Bell. Now to try and make the most of the minutes that we have, I'm going to cut out any time she's travelling because it is a big town and uh, we could be here for ages and most of the LP could be travelling. So I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so we are now arriving at Taco Bell and that did take her 40 minutes <laughs> to get to Taco Bell. So I think what we're doing is a good idea. Right, so this is Taco Bell, apparently. Now you can tell me whether or not it's a good representation of Taco Bell. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, I really have got a bit of a dodgy throat going on. Oh, there's another gnome hat. Someone really likes the gnome hats. So this is the Taco Bell. Let's quickly, quickly, quickly invite him over. So invite him over. And he does come to the place that you are at. So that would be quite... Is that the other guy that we like? No, that's Barry. Barry Whitfield. Is he here already? Is that Chad? No, it's Raj. Oh, domestic. Domestic. Mercedes me versus I think Barry Whitfield. That's a child, isn't it? 
Like, seriously, you fighting with a child? Okay, so he's going to come over and visit us, which is wonderful. So let's go inside the Taco Bell and leave a comment below and let me know if this looks like a Taco Bell that you have experienced. It's very bright and very colourful. I'll certainly give it that. Is that painting just hanging in the middle there? It is. Well, that's a move objects cheat if I've ever seen one. This guy's everywhere. We seen him in the last part as well, didn't we? Are we waiting on a bus, ladies? What's happening? We're waiting on Chad. Where is Chad when he's at home? Why don't we go and speak to Raj? Oh, is that a taxi coming? Let's do a friendly introduction to Raj. Hopefully, 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 he will arrive soon. Because I do quite like him. I do quite like him. Is this him on his bike? I think he's always oh, eco-friendly as well. Look at that. Right, screw Raj. We're not interested in him. We're interested in Mr. Chad. I, I, it would have been nice to have a, a better name than Chad. <laughs> but, you know, there we go. So, funny, tell funny story. Like, I'd quite like it if we would call him Chuck. From, like, Chuck Bass. From XOXO Gossip Girl. I also changed her wee outfit as well. I want to kind of change her outfit more. So that there's a bit more of a variety in what you're seeing. Right, Mr. Chad. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Gasha boo boo. I don't know about the trainers with the trousers, but, you know, he seems to have quite a good uh, bod as well. We'll ask about his age. And we will... Let's ask him if he's single, because we haven't done that yet. And that would be an absolute kick in her teeth <laughs> if he wasn't single. Have a great group outing. Okay. Why don't we step this up a notch? Let's see. So he's only four days older than her, so that's even better. Because we don't want somebody that's super old, but we don't really mind if he's just a few days older. Because like I've said to you before, this is a kind of... Oh, no partner, you beauty. This is kind of like a legacy sort of challenge as well. So we definitely want him to be young, free and single. And he is. Oh, he likes it, guys. Would you like to come on a date? Right, where could we go? Because Taco Bell's not really cutting it. So it looks like they're on a date. Wonderful. Well, what will we go and do? Will we go and find another area in the town? Is there anywhere close by? No, the subway, but we're not going to go there. What about, what about, what about a club? Let's go to the Catriona Club. Visit Lot with Date because she wants to order a drink, so she can do that at the Catriona Club and she can get jiggy with it. Him and her in the club, in the club. Everybody in the club. Yeah, so let me know if that looks like Taco Bell or not. She also wants to watch a movie. We'll see how it goes, darling. Are you, are you not even waiting on him? <laughs> no. You're supposed to, if you're on a date, stroll hand in hand. You know, that sort of good stuff. But you're just running away, obviously desperate for desperate for a drink or something. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're at the club. I'm sorry to keep cutting in and out, but I just don't think there's any point in seeing the sort of travel section. What I noticed about this town whenever I was playing my current household as well is it does tend to be busier in the venues. I don't know how the maker has done it, but actually, when you go to venues, people turn up, which is always nice. Oh, look, she dislikes children. <laughs> Poor little Jupiter Belle is getting a look of her. Because she's like, get out of here, small child. <laughs> right, let's do a friendly... Well, did she not want to be horrible to a child? Did we not keep that? No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't keep that. So where can we get a... Dr that reminds me of True Blood. With Eric's chair just sitting in the middle there. Please tell me why there's children at this bar. Buy a round of drinks, no. Let's order a drink. Let's order a ch bad cheerleader. Why not? Let's go for a bad cheerleader. Oh, don't tell me this place is shutting. No. Surely not. This place is... Why is it going dark off? Oh, it has ghost story. 
That's fine. Okay, everyone stop your night out and listen to some child's ghost story that shouldn't even be there. The bartender is just listening to the kid's ghost story. Okay. Um, excuse me, Miss Caitlin. Can you just kind of move, please? Let's do a rude introduction to Caitlin and tell her that Blondie, he's mine. Get out of this space that we are sharing right now. Don't give her a rude introduction. No. She's like, I'm a nice girl. I don't really do rude introductions, Laura. That's your thing, not mine. <laughs> or is she just finding a better space to get to her? Yep. <laughs> Blondie, this is my man. Just go away. Out my face. Tell her goodbye. That's good. You're lucky, Chadwick, that you are flirting with us. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Sweetheart, did nobody tell you that big glasses, a gold chain and that top just would not match? Who is this randomer? Wiley. Wiley, you need to get out my face as well, please. Let's do a flirtatious joke with her, with her handsome. With her handsome Chad. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling Chad. I mean, she's really attracted to him. They made friends super duper quickly and it really felt as if... I don't want to be cheesy, but it was really easy. So it was kind of like, okay, maybe they're meant to be. <laughs> In these times of the world, maybe they are actually meant to be. So I would kind of like to ask him to move in first of all because I would kind of like the I'm a bit old fashioned in the way that I think it's nice when the man does the marriage proposal and stuff so I think it would be nice if we could do that he has a bookworm we have learned that about him so let's just flirt a little bit more let's compliment his appearance do his personality and we'll keep an eye for ask to move in <laughs> Ha, there's some, uh, ha. We could talk about books with him because he's a bookworm. My Christopher is a bookworm as well and if you could talk to him about books, he would be super happy. <laughs> I'd be interested to see what his lifetime wish is to see if it actually is in the medical career. Let's try an amorous hug. Okay, fast forward through these interactions. Good friends already, guys. Good friends already. She wants to be best friends, so I'm going to promise that because I think that's something that we'll definitely be able to accomplish. Maybe not at this point, but... Let's share a secret with him. This is going to be like the best date in the history of dates. <laughs> It's a flirtatious joke. Wouldn't it be cool if they replaced all the roads in town with swimming pools? Um, probably not. Let's give him a friendly hug. And then let's just change that to an amorous hug. Let's just slip your hand a little bit lower. Squeeze those butt cheeks. <laughs> Why does she always need the toilet at the wrong times, girlie? No. Compliment his personality. You can hold it. No! Oh, goodness me. I should have made my move. I should have made my move. Okay. Well, the date has gone well, and that's the main thing. You kind of ruined it by needing the toilet. She wants to pillow fight with him and create a new blog. She wants to go on a date with him. Well, we kind of were on a date. Well, we try and steal something from in here. Because we've got bills to pay. I actually don't think you can steal things from inside a community lot, I believe. Which does suck. If you go to people's houses, then you can steal things. But you can't seem to do it. What about, could we... As I say, can't swipe anything while being watched. Why don't we go then? Why don't we go to a park? A park. And we can try and swipe, like, a table, <laughs> a chess set, all those exciting things. Why don't we go, we can't visit this lot, sugary, sugary poop. Is there any sun loungers on the beach? I want to download the mod where you can steal from a community lot, because otherwise this is just going to be really, really difficult. Really difficult if you can't steal from a community lot. I suppose you could go to people, oh, who lives here? 
Oh, it's the girl that we've just had a fight with. Okay. And what about you? Anderson. Anderson. Who do we know that's Anderson? That's Chad Luck, Steve Texas, Sit Up, Mercedes Me. Who's Anderson? Oh, the dog. <laughs> do you think we could turn up at the door and say, okay, so we know your dog and we really kind of need to come in here and steal something from you. Is that all right? <laughs> oh, there's that Sit Up guy. We do know a sit up guy, don't we? Armando sit up. Let's go and steal from him. Let's go and visit him. It is a bit late, so he's probably going to be like, really? Do you realise the time? Do you realise that it's 20 past one in the morning and you're trying to visit me, you crazy stalker? <laughs> but maybe he's got a car or something and it's in the driveway and we can just pinch it. Oh, he does. He does. He's got a car. Would that be bad? And it's actually... It's a big lemon, so it's actually a much, much better car. <laughs> oh, we need, we do need the money. Oh, he's in bed, he's in bed. Well, I'm sorry to say, but, oh no, don't get up, don't get up. No, he's coming to get up. Oh my God, we're going to get caught, we're going to get caught. Oh my God, we're going to get caught, we're going to get caught. Okay, I'm not being caught. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> is he going to come out? Okay. I feel really bad now. Do you not realise your car's missing? My goodness me. My goodness me, Armando. Look at that six pack. Okay. So the big lemon is worth 800. Oh my goodness. He is ripped. Ripped, ripped, ripped. Holy moly. Let's, let's not get to know him because really, it doesn't really matter. Let's come in here and swipe something. Oh, it's such a shame. He's actually flirting with her. Oh, no, 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 don't swipe something. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right, while he's dancing, is he going to dance? Listen to pick up lines. So she likes him as well. She's just a bit of a, a holy go lightly. A holly go lightly. <laughs> right, why don't we go. Let's see if she'll swipe a bath. Hopefully we'd leave her alone and the, don't take the light. Don't take the light. Take the bath. Take the bath. It might be worth something. Yes, take the bath. <laughs> Poor guy, he's getting robbed blind. Right, come and do something in the bedroom as well. And then we need to go. <laughs> I feel really bad, actually. I mean, it's not a big grand house that he stays in and we're just coming. Don't take the lamp. He should take the lamp. What did she take? Okay, so we did get quite a lot out of him, so it's time to go. <laughs> Thanks very much, mister. Thanks for the donations to our kleptomaniac cause. I um, really appreciate that. <laughs> so we have got 1,490, so you can swipe three things a night. So I think for us to survive, especially if we're going to have kids and also not work and such like I think we need to sell one of the things that we swipe to try and give us a bit of money otherwise we're going to be like on Pooh Street because I have no idea why the house that we're in costs so much money to stay in it's absolutely nuts if you ask me nuts if you ask me so once we're home we'll double check and see like what's worth what and etc etc Right, Lady Pants, you're really keeping a strange schedule, but I suppose that's appropriate for somebody who's a klepto. Okay, buy mode. So we got a big lemon worth 885. We got some blinds worth 105 and a bath worth 500. So I think we sell the cheapest item, which is the blinds, and then we'll see how we go with the rest. We've always got them as kind of insurance if we need it. <laughs> We have insurance policies. Apart from, actually, is that fishing pitch are quite expensive? No, it's not that expensive. I think it's the hot tub, to be honest. Leisure day is here. Awesome. Now, that does mean that our Mr. Man will have the day of other best friends, guys. How sweet is that? So, she could throw a pool party, but she has no pool. But she does have a hot tub. So we could get her to throw a party for Mr. Chad and then hopefully 
you know, we will get it on in the hot tub. <laughs> I don't know if they will necessarily get it on in the hot tub on the first date because I don't know if she's that type of girl. Well, they've had their first date, but I still don't think she's that type of that type of girl that should woohoo on the second date. But you never know. You never know. I certainly don't think she'd try for children on the second date. Let's clean this up. Because we want to find someone, because it is the perfect genetics, but it is sort of like a legacy. Also, we want to find someone that she does actually click with and that is a believable love story. And I think with him she does, because like she wants to pillow fight with him, go on another date with him. And I've never had a set of Sims become friends so quickly in a long, long time. I think the last time was Cinderella, which was Harry and Cinderella and the Disney legacy. So, yes. So, guys, I'm going to leave it here. It seems like a good part to leave it here. And tomorrow, or in the next part of this, not tomorrow as in, in real life, but tomorrow in her life, we will throw a party and we will get Mr. Chadderick. Mr. Chadderick. I know his name's not Chadderick, but, you know, um, we will get him over. So, please don't forget to leave a like on the video because it really does help me in my YouTube journey. And if you can leave a comment below, let me know what your thoughts are on our man that she is taking it an extreme liking to and then of course is that an accurate representation of taco bell so thank you so much for joining me guys and i love you all so much and i'll talk to you in the very next part of the perfect genetics challenge bye guys